Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to add PHP support to Microsoft IIS. To start, we need to download PHP from windows.php.net. Make sure to download the NTS non-thread-safe version. We'll also need to download the Microsoft Visual C++ installer. Navigate to the Downloads directory and double-click the downloaded Visual C++ installer. Check the box to agree, then click Install. Once the installation completes, click Close. Now right-click on the downloaded PHP zip file and extract it. Rename the extracted folder to PHP. Right-click on the PHP folder and cut, then navigate to C, Program Files, and paste the PHP folder from the clipboard. Click the Start button and search for Control, then launch Control Panel. Change the view to Small Icons, then select System. Click the Advanced System Settings option. Click on the Environment Variables button, then select Path and click the Edit button. Click the New button at the top right of the dialog, then click Browse and browse to C Program Files PHP, then click OK. Click OK to close all the open dialog windows. Next, click the Start menu and launch Server Manager. Once Server Manager loads, click the Add Roles and Features option. Click Next through each screen until you reach the Server Roles page. Expand Web Server IIS, Web Server, Application Development, then check the CGI box. Click Next twice, then click Install. Wait while the CGI feature is added to IIS. Once the installation completes, click Close, then select Tools at the top right and launch IIS Manager. Click the server name in the left navigation pane, then double click Handler Mappings. Click the Add Module Mapping link to the top right. Set the request path to star.php, the module to fast CGI module, then click the three dots and browse the C program files PHP. Change the filter to star.exe and select php-cgi.exe. Enter the name PHP, then click OK. Click Yes to confirm adding the entry. Click the server name in the left navigation pane, then double click Default Document. Click the Add action at the top right and add index.php, then click OK. Right-click the server name in the left navigation pane and select Stop. Then right-click it again and Start to restart the IIS server for changes to take effect. Now expand Sites and right-click on the default website and Explore. Right-click in the white space and select New, Text Document. Name the new file phpinfo.php. Right-click on phpinfo.php and edit it in a text editor. Using the video description, create a PHP file with a PHP info function call. Save the changes and close the file. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash phpinfo.php. We now have working PHP support in IIS running on our Windows server.